Hey YouTube, it's me, Katie Kaylin or Katie Cupcakes, and today I have a review on another new band that has not been on my channel yet, and they are called No Fall Too Far. It's made up of one band member, his name is Kyle Lewandowski. I'm really sorry if I said your name wrong. Um, he has two albums out currently, and the first is called Take It Back, and the second one is called One Single Gift. He's working on a third album called Rebel that comes out in February, so everyone look for that if you like his music. Um, and that's about all the information I have from him, so let's just get started. Alright, so I have six songs I downloaded from him, so I'll be reviewing those six. They're not in any particular order, just the order that I downloaded them in. Alright, so let's get started. So the first song is called, If It's Not Me, Then It Must Be You. Um, this song is almost like dubstep, but not quite as heavy. It's I don't really know what the category is for this. Like, his music is all clearly electronic, but I feel like electronic music is split, like, into so many categories this day. Like, I feel like dubstep's electronic, even crunk core is electronic. Like, I feel like electronic is just, like, categorizes how you make the music, really. So, I really don't want to say it's electronic. It's, like, almost dubstep, but, like, cal calmer dubstep? I don't even know how to explain it. Oh, I just did. I don't know what it's called. Um, so anyway, back to this song review. <laughs> So, um, it has, like, really heavy bass parts, but there's no, like, bass drops. Like, you know, dubstep is, like, bass drops, and that's kind of why I feel like this isn't dubstep, because there's no, like, you know, big bass drop, which is kind of, like, the only thing that sets it apart. But it's still, overall, it's really good, and I love the sound of his music. It's so, like, would make you want to dance, and this is, this song specifically is something I'm definitely going to listen to a lot and it's gonna go into my playlist of songs that I actually tend to listen to. Alright, so um take a listen and tell me guys what you got and tell me what you guys think. I really, really liked this song, so let me know if you really really like it too. Take a listen. Alright, so the next song is called The Awakening. This is just like a fun dance song. Also like that very dubstepy feel to it, um, but it's not quite as heavy, just like I said. Um, I'm really comparing his music to dubstep because that's how I feel. I'm sorry if that's not how he intended for it to be. That's just kind of what I get out of it. Uh, um, it's almost eerie sounding and it kind of freaks me out, but it's also like still like really intriguing. and. It's, it's something different, like, I can't even really explain that, but, and then the song also, it just has, like, basic song structure, and when I say basic song structure, I mean, like, the intro that's kind of, like, sound effecty, um, kind of a heavy part, or, like, you know, like, a heavy, like, electronic part, then, like, a really heavy breakdown, and then back to normal, and then kind of fades out again. That's what I mean when I say basic song structure for this genre, that's kind of what it tends to be. Um, so that's kind of all I have to say about this song. Um, take a listen, and maybe you guys have some different thoughts, leave them in the comments. Here you go. So the next song is called I Look At You and All I See Is My Past. This is definitely more dubstep than anything else, but I still feel like it lacks that bass drop. Like, in dubstep, you know, that bass drop is what makes the song. So I feel like since there isn't, and, and there might be, they're just not apparent to me. Which I think dubstep, the whole deal is bass drops, they're always really apparent, you know, and you always are just like, oh, sounds so great, you know, like, oh, amazing. So I feel like they're just, they might be there, they're just not apparent to me. And I'm listening through good headphones too, like, I really can hear the bass and I don't, I couldn't tell. So, 
that's the one. Um, but it still has that, like, sexy dubstep feel. You know, like, dubstep performs, like, it's so sexy. Like, oh, you know? It still has that kind of feel to it. And it's great dance and party music. And this is probably my favorite song out of the ones I've downloaded. Um, so you guys listen and tell me what you think. called Phantasmic, um, which is that thing at Disneyland. Ha! I love that water show. I think it's cool. I love Disneyland. Anyway, <laughs> so I feel like the song almost needs lyrics. Like, I was so, like, inspired. Like, I want to write those, like, cute, I want you, let's dance in the club lyrics. You know what I mean? It's just, like, one of those song type of videos. Like, um, I don't know, like, uh, she said by Stefan Jerzak. Like, you like one of those songs like we're dancing and I want to dance with you and then we're gonna go to the hotel room and then we're gonna get married in Vegas and you know what I mean. Anyway, that's just kind of it sounds like it would be that song but it doesn't have lyrics. It's really really fun. Um, probably the most upbeat of the songs I downloaded. It definitely still has like a dubstepy feel to it. Um, it's got some really really heavy bass parts but it's still like a really light like fun song and I really like this one too. This might be like my second favorite. So take a listen and tell me guys what you think. So the next song is called Shepherds We Shall Be. This song actually scares me a little bit. Um, I'm not sure if it's supposed to be religious on some level or not. Just like shepherds, you know, you think of like religious stuff. Um, it's kind of creepy. But other than that, I don't have much to say. Like, like there's a raspy voice in the beginning and it scares me. <laughs> like, I don't even know why this song just creeps me out. I really don't have much to say about it. So just listen and tell me what you guys think. watching this video. I hope you've all enjoyed it and have a nice day. Bye YouTube!